In 1994, an unheard of receiver from tiny Hofstra University tied Jerry Rice's NCAA record of five touchdown catches in one game. This undrafted player would later set an NFL record 150 catches in his first two years with the Jets. Wayne Krebet's success is a tribute to his indomitable spirit. You know, just having an uncontrollable desire to succeed at something and uh, basically not letting anything get in your way. He's a guy who nobody expects a lot out of, but all of a sudden you blink your eyes, he's got 82 catches. Just the pass, finds Corbett, he's to the 10, to the 5, touchdown! Number 80 has never let anything get in his way. And for the past two years, he's been one of the Jets' few bright spots. They give you a chance to go on that field, you just have to show them what you can do. I think all in due time, you know, people, if they have the ability, it will come out. I mean, not everybody is, uh, you know, 6'4", or a big guy, or super fast. I think Hart is the reason most players get to the NFL. Critics believed he was simply too small and too slow to succeed in pro football. But this little engine that could believed in himself and went full speed ahead. He has the personal drive, the personal fortitude, and the single-mindedness of purpose to play to his best abilities no matter what anybody else says he should be doing. He plays the way he knows he can play. To me, that is the definition of heart and character. As a rookie free agent, he waited in the background for the chance to make himself known to his team, even if they didn't even know his name. Well, you, get, you want Ryan around the corner, you want the... Uh, Let Kravec! Let the kid run it. Okay. Get Kravec in there. Get in there. I gotta give this kid some experience. His talents were evident from his very first game when he secured his place as a starter. His first season, he caught a Jets rookie record 66 balls with four touchdowns. Watch that little kid from, uh, from, yeah. He's a tough son of a, he's great. He can do a lot of things. He still hangs out like a regular guy, never putting on airs, even after soaring to stardom. I just like to come here, kick back, just basically be a normal person for, uh, for about an hour. He's a very quiet, unobtrusive guy. He just kind of slips in, slips out. The same can't be said of his more flamboyant teammate, Keyshawn Johnson. Johnson called Krebet the coach's mascot, among other things, in his much criticized book. Regardless of, of uh, what Kishan Johnson might say, Wayne Krebet makes everybody's team. There's not a team in this league he doesn't play on. No longer a face in the crowd, he still had problems when it came to a place to lay his head. Coach Kotai came up to me and he said, I wanted to know, he said, I heard you were sleeping on someone's couch. I said, well, I'm not really sure, you know, what's going on yet. And this was after already two regular season games and starting. And he said, listen, he said, uh, I got a feeling you're going to be around for a while. He said, go find yourself a place to stay. Making his success even more special is that he fulfills a dream of playing for his hometown team. Growing up near the stadium, you know, I've always watched the Jets and the Giants play. Pretty much every time I left my house and I was driving, I passed the stadium. And, uh, you know, now to drive by, I know that's my office. You know, it's definitely a dream come true. Off the field, his hunger is satisfied at Benny's luncheonette. But on the field, only a first down will do. At Benny's, only the bold brave the mighty number eight. And on the field, only players like number 80 are fearless enough to move the chains the hard way. Going across the middle, you're going to get hit your whole career. You know, if that's where you choose to go, that's where it calls for me to go with the plays. Uh, I think I'm going to encounter that my whole career, but uh, it doesn't really affect me. My basic play is just to, to come up, to slant across the middle, and if he's on my hip, I'm just going to keep going across the field. I mean, that's just the basic stuff I do. Nobody is better on third down. As evidenced by Krebet's 31 third down catches in 96, tops in the NFL. He revels in the physical play, as he has since college. At the 30, got a beautiful block in the open field from Prevet. Perhaps one game proved he belonged among the league's elite, 
as he amassed 12 catches for over 160 yards. This year, Grebet continues to impress as he opened the season with two touchdown catches against Seattle. People look at me, and I've been mistaken for a caddy, for autograph seekers, for, you know, for anything, a ball boy. But, uh, you know, when it comes down to it, you know, look, looks can be deceiving. His will to succeed proves to us and to himself that he belongs, not just in the National Football League, but in a league of his own. I know how it felt to watch those guys play, and I always wondered. And uh, to be there now, I said, I, I wouldn't trade that for the world.